Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Step Campus. So this is class 10. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the handling drop down button. Okay. So in this, we will see like how to handle the drop down button. Okay. So let's go to this website which we are referring before. Okay. So this is the website link. I will just copy this one and open in a new tab. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in this, like uh, we have seen how to get the uh, element of this text box this password block okay and also we have seen the radio button okay and ra radio button then we have seen this pop-up and all and then this is the option which we have left in in the previous lecture right so in this one in this video we are going to talk about this drop down button okay like uh, as of now it is student selected by default but if you want to select con consultant or teacher so how can we select these things okay and then we will click on uh, agree and then sign button okay so let's go to see the uh, how to handle drop down so for this one like uh, just go to the inspect button okay control shift i and before going there uh, we will create one class okay okay with the name of drop down okay make sure d will be capital so good practice to write and also make sure like this checkbox should be selected okay yeah so if you select this textbook then you will get this the, uh, get this option if you not then you won't get this one but this, uh, this is required for restarting the java code right that's why we have added now what we are going to see we are going to see the drop down okay yeah so for uh, this like yeah before this one i have to show you one more thing okay see this is a stick static uh, drop down we will say static means the options are fixed here okay it's a teacher it's a consultant so this is a static one so we will see the dynamic also like uh, auto suggestive drop down we are, we are seeing those, those things okay so we will see that thing in our letter section that yeah this drop down is called a static static means the fixed one so here we can see the uh, element are fixed student teacher consultant these are the fixed one okay so this is called a static drop down okay yeah now go to the code editor yeah so for a static drop down first what we have to do now so first we have to uh, take out the common element okay so go to the website first yeah so this is the website yeah inspect one just click on a student okay click on a student yeah so if we drag this one so we can see student teacher and consultant these three are inside this form okay so just copy this one and one more thing so as i told you so this is a static now so static drop down will be uh like the tag will be like select okay if the drop down is starting from the select tag it means it is a static drop down okay yeah now what we have to do we have to write the x path i will try with the x path you can choose anything a css selector also you can uh, select from your end yeah select okay not in capital just make sure it should be in small select okay tag name okay and then we have to open the bracket at the rate class i am using okay and the class name is form control okay let's copy this class and paste here okay let's see okay and if we do down option so you can see this three element right so we have to select this one yeah just as of now just remove this option now because uh, if you want to do anything uh, with the select down so you have to select the parent one okay not the child these are the child these are the three child of this parent one okay so we have to select only the select tag okay when we are doing with when you are dealing with the uh, static problem okay so it's saying one one uh, one of one element it means it's a fine okay just copy this one okay go to the code editor yeah so what we will do now we will create one uh, variable so make this variable name is i am writing a static drop down only okay so that it should be clear and in this static drop down i will apply this uh, driver.find element okay this element driver.find okay before this one we have to do one more thing why this is not suggestion now because we have to use these things right uh, just go, because we have created new class now that's why we have to add these things control c okay and paste here yeah now we will get the suggestion driver.find element by dot x path and inside this x path inside this double quotes what we have to do we have to give that uh, value okay 
so just copy this one and go to the code editor again and paste here okay now we are getting this error so in java you can't uh, write like this way okay? the variable name we have to give some uh, data types like what data so it should be so for this one it should, it should be web element okay we are storing the web element okay uh, web element we have error just go there just import this web element okay so this library will be added and this error will be gone okay yeah now just give semicolon at the end yeah now it's good now wow, what we have to do so so we have created the variable and we have stored some elements there okay so to call this one okay to call this select one so what we have to do now we have to create one object so select okay just give name give name drop down okay select drop down so select is a class we can say okay inside this class we are just creating one variable okay select drop down and equals to how we are creating uh, object so new and then we have to give the select again okay so in this way we are creating a object okay with the name of drop down so select also coming some error coming some error so just click here you can get this import okay just click on this okay new select also we are getting some error yeah why we are getting error because in this select statement we have to pass this variable okay just pass this variable here just follow my syntax you will get to know how what i am doing okay by the end of this lecture yeah now we have uh, stored this one this value in one variable also we have created a class now with the help of this class we will uh, call out our function so what we have to do we have to go to drop down okay drop down dot okay now you can get this methods okay so this method is coming because we have created this select okay so what we will do now we will just uh, say like drop down dot and now we have to use this function so what we are going to do we are going to select one drop down button right so we will say like select okay select by index okay just select the three one okay let's go to the uh yeah go to the website first see the starting will be one second will be teacher and third will be consultant okay just like this way okay so third selecting means it should select consultant fine okay yeah now what we will do uh we will give some thread dot slip okay give some delay of uh, two second okay should be thread and just okay we have to give thread in caps okay yeah now select uh, uh, hover there and then you will get this option add throw declaration just click on this one yeah now this is fine okay we have selected this one but yeah but before selecting this one we have to land on this page right so what i will do now i will just copy the from previous one okay so just follow my previous lecture then you will get to know about these things okay so this one fine okay and i am selecting radio button also like let don't disturb the radio button is from just like these things okay now go there okay before this one just paste the value so we are giving we are going to the site we are giving username you are giving password and after the password uh it should uh, select admin by default because uh, we are not selecting user right now okay now this button will be selected okay the consultant should be selected so it will select uh, the index one three and then it will run okay control s save the uh, class test file you can say and go to the run is and run a java application okay so it will open a browser yeah it will give username okay fine yeah it will give password it will select admin okay and then it will select consultant let's see it is selecting or not okay i think something some error is coming maybe uh yes some error is coming uh windows 11 what is the error cannot lock it option with three index okay just go with the index two okay maybe like it is taking from the zero one two so just go with that option okay so just run it let's see again okay so same thing it will open a browser okay it will click on username and it will give our username there okay yeah fine now password it will, it will give okay it will select admin already selected yeah now see the consultant has been selected here okay yeah so these things you have to think yeah like uh, sometimes uh, 
uh, we have to think about like it will going through the index one or index zero so for this case uh, it is going with the index zero okay so zero means zero means uh, zero means student one means teacher and two means consultant okay let's i will go with the two now okay and save it and run it for the last time okay and then we will bind up this lecture so what it will do it will again open the browser it will give the username okay it will give the username yeah it will give the password and this time uh, second year yeah, teacher will be selected okay let's see oh why consultant teacher selecting okay i have saved this code or not uh, let's see zero one two oh sorry my bad it should be one by eight zero it's it starting with zero now i forgot my bad okay so zero will be student one will be teacher and two will be consultant like this way okay okay yeah so user id given password given and it will select the teacher yeah now teacher has been selected yeah so i hope guys you will understand about these things so we have cover the drop down also okay so this is a static drop down but yeah in the letter section we will see about the state uh, auto suggestive also yeah so yeah happy learning guys in this video i want to go much uh, deeper okay so you can uh, learn this concept from your end just go to some different sites and try from your end and then we will see okay so that's all in this video bye bye take care